As America remembers the fallen today, Benghazi is front and center. Everyone looking to that select committee to get some answers. And now, word the only reason Democrats signed onto the committee was at the urging of Hillary Clinton's allies. That suggests the former Secretary of State is looking for protection. How does Pat Smith feel about that? Her son, Sean, was killed in that horrific attack. Pat, welcome to the program. Good to have you with us today, ma'am. Thank you. Before we look at this select committee, may I take you back to the funeral? I believe that Hillary Clinton spoke to you at that event. Will you tell us what she said to you? She put her arms around me. She told me it was the video, that it was the cause, because I asked her. I asked, as I asked everyone in the room, I said, please tell me what happened. What, is, what happened? And they all promised me, they all told me it was the video, and they would promise that they're going to check into it, and if it's anything more, they will call me back or let me know. No one has ever gotten back to me at any time for any reason. Now what do you make of this select committee that has been selected? And we hear that some Democrats want to try to protect Hillary Clinton. What do you make of that? They can protect her all, she, all they want. All she's got to do is tell the truth. And do you think that the select committee will get to the truth? I sure hope so, because it isn't working this way. She has not volunteered. Trey Gowdy, who is going to be running this committee, he has a great deal more power than many people who run this kind of committee. He has the power to subpoena witnesses, depose people, and he can review intelligence data. That's a significant amount of power. You think that that's enough power to get to the truth that you want to hear? It should be. I trust Trey Gowdy completely. He's a very dynamic person, and he keeps asking the questions that I need answered. After what Hillary Clinton said to you at that funeral, what do you think of her now? Oh, don't ask me that. Um, don't ask me that. I, I think she's a terrible person. I think she makes terrible suggestions. She makes a, She does not know how to run anything, let alone the country. Are you upset by the length of time that it's taken to get the select committee in place and to get this investigation going? Absolutely. I was hoping for it a long time ago. Why do you think nothing's happened? Because they don't want anybody to know anything. They know what they did. They don't want anybody else to know what they did. Will you testify before this committee if asked? Absolutely. In an, in an instant. Yeah. Do you expect to be asked? Probably not. What would you say? I would say tell the truth. All they have to do is tell the truth. All of this stuff that's happening now would not have happened. Uh, I'm speaking of what happened to me. Uh, none of this would have happened if they would only tell the truth. But they haven't. When you, when you say what happened to me, what do you mean? What, what, what happened to you? The, the delay? Or what Ms. Clinton oh, said to you? Oh, the delay, and that's one thing. Uh, another thing is they told me I was not a part of the immediate family, so they could not tell me anything. I was not invited to, a, to, to one of the uh, meetings over there because they said I was not a part of the immediate family, and they're treating me like dirt. There's no reason for that. Well, Pat Smith, um, we appreciate you being with us today on this, on this particular day, Memorial Day. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that we do indeed get to the truth. Thank you, ma'am. I hope so. Please help it. Make it happen. We shall. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank ma you.